70 to 80 percent of the people who go into prison go back to prison or go back to a life of crime. In other words, whatever was supposed to happen in there didn't happen. Unless what you define as what was supposed to happen in there was just punishing them and getting revenge on them. That happened. Most prisons thrive on senseless violence, destroying any sense of self-worth, leaving prisoners with a total sense of futility in their lives. Imagine being locked in a room the size of your bathroom for up to 16 hours a day with no running water. Imagine living in this room with two to three other people you've never met before and couldn't really trust. Imagine living in an atmosphere with a constant threat of violence, rape, drugs and AIDS. Well, this is typical of many prison conditions around the world. The experts agree. A prison system that is primarily designed for punishment and revenge does not deter crime. It never has. All it does is create a breeding ground for more violent behaviour, which is then inflicted back on us. Sometimes it can mean your, your life or it can mean your ass. You know what I mean? You can, you can either get sodomised by the system or by the prisoners, or you can fight back and the more violent you are, the more they let you run through. Violence is your ticket through the prison system. The human cost alone is absolutely tragic. It doesn't seem to make any sense. On top of that, as taxpayers, we're also paying an enormous economic cost for juvenile delinquency and the running cost of the entire criminal justice system. The population of the prison system in America has tripled in the last 10 years. When we lock them up, we have to build new prisons. Now, building new prisons is very expensive. It costs about $70,000 per cell to build a maximum security prison. Then it costs about $20,000 per year per prisoner to keep them in there. That money has to come from somewhere. Where is it coming from? Well, actually, where it's coming from is the education system, the religious system, and the family system, the very systems that are supposed to do the job in the first place.